So we're going to talk about peri-implantitis. We're going to talk, uh, hopefully talk about its prevalence, its diagnosis, and its prognosis. So when we think about peri-implantitis, we probably also think about the uh, analogous term or, or the first cousin, which would be peri-implant mucositis, which would be inflammation of the soft tissue that surrounds an implant without any changes in the bony support to the implant. So it's sort of like gingivitis, except around a dental implant, except for the fact that there's no gingiva around a dental implant. There's mucosa, some of it keratinized, sometimes not keratinized, but it's, it's not exactly the same as gingivitis, and we always have to be aware of that. Because if it's not exactly the same, it doesn't have to have the same etiology. It doesn't have to have the same prognosis, the same interventions. Uh, it, it may not be logical to always work in that direction. And that's part of the theme of this talk this morning. So if we think about soft tissue inflammation without changes in the supporting bone, you can see this uh, red rolled margin on the, uh, on the crown that exists on the implant in front of you. So when does it become progressive? And when it does become progressive, is that when it becomes peri-implantitis? And I think that would probably be the uh, description that we would use most often. The peri-implantitis is that inflammatory process that destroys uh, soft and hard tissue surrounding a dental implant. Mombelli was credited with, uh, with coining this term it's interesting because I saw him speak just a, a few months ago and he was almost apologetic for the, uh, the coining of the term. 